Hey guys, I'm gonna do a really quick real-time pressure and vacuum test. So the first thing we need to do is to seal off the intake and the exhaust. I'm gonna empty this bag out and show you what I've got. I've got a couple that I've made up in the past, but really all you need is a couple of strips of tapered inner tube. Take your carb, like this. Pop that onto the intake side. This is gonna be a block off here. Do that with the uh, impact wrench, impact driver. Just so they don't fall back out. And then we're gonna pop this inner tube between the carb and the manifold. And we're gonna snug it down both sides. And we'll just finish off with a screwdriver. And we just want snug, we don't want uh, over tight. Again, this is rubber in a tube, so it will compress. Now we need to do the same on the exhaust side. So take your muffler. We're gonna just again start it. Get us a purchase on the threads. Gonna place, where's the other one gone? Can you guys see it? Yeah, okay. This onto the exhaust side between the two studs. And we're now going to snug this one down in the same way. And again, tighten it up by hand so I know exactly what sort of torque I've got and where I need to go to. And then the last thing we need to do is to put air into the cylinder. And I've made this little adapter. It's from a spark plug with a tube. This thing goes in. And because I've popped an O-ring on there, I can just do it up by hand. Now what I'm gonna do is put pressure into the crankcase. You don't have to worry about turning anything over. The pressure will do everything it needs to. And you'll see that uh, we've got two dials. We have pressure, and then we have in PSI, and then we have vacuum in inches of mercury. There are two inches of mercury for every one PSI. We need to go to about seven to 10 PSI, which is around about 15 to 20 inches of mercury. So seven to 10 PSI. Now just push the piston down. And go to about seven. And now we wait here for about 10 seconds. You do not need to wait two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour, 10 seconds. This is running at seven, all the way up to maybe 14,000 RPM, depending on the engine. You do not need to wait five minutes to see if it's gonna hold that on one stroke. So there we go, it's holding absolutely fine. Then what we need to do is go on to vacuum. So we turn the dial. This is a Mighty Vac 8500 if you're curious. It comes with a whole bunch of adapters. And we now pull a vacuum up to about 15 PSI. And we wanna make sure, go down, that it's gonna hold. Now the vacuum, as I said earlier, tests the oil seals. The oil seal lip will lift up off of the crankshaft when it's starting to get old and fail. Sometimes you can see the oil seal failure through pressure, but it's nowhere near as often. So we always do a vacuum test. In fact, I'd go as far as to say a vacuum test is more important than a pressure test. So we'll let that settle down. That's bang on 15. Now the key here is to rotate the engine over just gently a few times and make sure we haven't lost any vacuum at all. And as you can see, we haven't. We're still on 15 PSI. That is the job done. There is nothing more you need to do. Main leak areas, crankshaft seals, either side of the crankcase. You can have crankcase gaskets. You can have it through lines, impulse lines, rubber impulse manifolds. You can have it through the spark plug, the decomp area. You can actually have it past these uh, rubber block offs that we've put in place. And of course, crankcase gaskets as well. Um, so, and then uh, uh, unlikely, but still possible, is small cracks in different parts of the engine. There might be a small crack in the crankcase. If it's been dropped, there might be a small crack inside the cylinder. You might have uh, areas where you force bearings through uh, without heating them first, and that can also cause cracks around the bearing pockets as well. So there we go, pressure and vacuum test. Pressure is to do everything other than the, the oil seals, gaskets, O-rings, etc. Vacuum test is for oil seals. We use soapy water if we want to find any pressure leaks and we use oil, a very thin light oil, if we want to find crankshaft oil seal leaks. We don't want to be sucking in oil, um, soapy water into the engine if we can help it. It's not the end of the world, but it's just not a good habit
to get into. So there we go. Hope it helped. Always do a pressure and vacuum test on every two stroke you come across whenever it's not quite acting right. It's a three minute process. And uh, when you've got yourself all set up, it's going to be the most important test that you do on a two stroke for diagnostics. All right. Catch you on the next one, guys. Bye bye.